we have a good end of summer treat for the chickens today. Some, some old pears from my neighbor. I could just put these in the compost, but I think I'd rather send them to the chickens first and then put, put the chickens produce out of it into the compost. And I think the chickens will appreciate it too. to it. Watermelon was another one of those really nice late summer treats for us and the watermelon rind will be a nice treat for our chickens. A bunch of lucky chickens. Pears earlier and now watermelon. This arrangement I have with my neighbor works out great. He's got this uh, this pear tree and a lot of times the fruit falls and he uh, just doesn't want to deal with it. It's kind of gross. Who wants to you know pick this stuff up? But uh, it's great for my chickens and for the compost. The really ugly ones I put straight into the compost. These nicer ones will save for the chickens. Randy has also been really nice about letting me use his grass clippings. The compost ratio has to be sort of equal between carbon and nitrogen. And we have way too many leaves on our property, the carbon, and not enough of the grass, the nitrogen, to balance it out. So in the fall, I'll just heap up lots of leaves and throughout the summer, <clears throat> With my, own, <clears throat> with my own grass clippings and Randy's, I eventually can layer enough of those leaves to get rid of all of them. I've also given Randy and his wife some of the eggs from our chickens as a, as a gesture of thanks as well. <laughs> <laughs> 